let's just start baking so um, first of all we're going to albedo and we're going to bake it here so shift a uh, create a new mesh texture or you can just duplicate it and now uh, just get a new mesh will be two I had to restart that all right so um, name it albedo combine So this is our albedo and uh, let's plug it in here, yeah. albedo combined here. Yeah. So uh, we're going to bake it with emission. So let's go to bake, emit, uh, select it to active, let's turn off this, system px, okay, let's bake it and I'm going back. Here is our big pretty good let's save it f3 we're going to this is final decision now so as a match here we go so albedo is baked now let's bake our roughness control shift screen here's our roughness create a new match make it roughness roughness yep Mm. let's name it roughness 2 select it bake it and I'm going back roughness baked F3 roughness that's it so uh, the metallicity we will work on it with GIMP <coughs> and now it is coming uh, to the point where the bump will go so the bump has uh, some problem bump has very huge problems so um i have decided uh, i have uh, watched some uh, you know tutorials and suggestions uh, for bump map uh, with the micro details that is our micro details and um, everyone uh, all on the setup was not actually working for micro bumps because these are very microscopic bumps and uh, um, everything go goes you know blob like you know uh, very low raised uh, bump and blender doesn't have this kind of um, setup unfortunately but I have hacked it a little and uh, it may look absurd and it is not actually scientific but it is working um, for uh, um, pretty much everything so uh, let's do it from here I have a setup in my right side so let's create a bump material here so let's duplicate this is a bump this is our bump we will need this h and h so these are our normal um, the basic normal these curvatures and this is our <coughs> uh height bump that was our red things so let's get started um first of all we will need a normal map here so let's create a normal map normal map put it with our bump newly created bump let's not scatter it here let's jam it here okay so this will be an object space which is uh, actually <coughs> needed to emit our bump all right anyway so let's go there and uh, we'll need our normal map here so shift D and now um, we're going to use some techniques here let's see um yeah our height bump should be connected with these two as well so now we are having our height maps and now what i'm going to do is basically create a screen uh, that is you know mix rgb mix rgb all right so in here we are going to use we're going to use screen uh, actually mathematically it should be overlay but we're using the screen and uh, this bump should go with um, color one here factor should be one and 
this normal texture which is actually our curvature should go with color 2 let's see now we're getting our bump back uh, we need to emit the back so if you are using tangent space it will work but it will give you some error so use object space here all right so uh, things are pretty much done but we have to tweak it somehow so let's duplicate this normal map here again use a uh, tangent space and plug it here all right so we're getting our bump back but there are some tweaking we need to do again the bump should be inverted and <coughs> we're going to use a separate channel yeah, separate RGB, to flip our uh, normals and we're going to use uh, combine RGB to get it back the red channel should go with green green channel should go with red blue channel will be blue so essentially that is our normal map now it has some flipping uh, flipping problems like you know uh, but it's working so yeah so uh, that's it <laughs> and that was the thing um, now we need to create a new image let's create normal underscore combine I'm going to create a um, 4k map for this because it has some micro details so use it uh, make sure it is alpha okay let's save this guy first f3 and I'm going to use 16 bit color depth let's save it alright it's a pretty huge file so um, what we need to do here is basically go to image texture and load it uh, let's zoom it in yeah and load it normal combine there we go so let's select this guy uh, beforehand we need to do what we need to do is basically go to your uh, this normal factor here and uh, select color it will look absurd but it will do the job because we are going to bake it with our image shadow right so press the screen control shift screen and here is your color data and here is your non color data so you use color select this image texture let's back it it will take uh, uh, let's select it it will take some time so i'm coming back yeah the normal bump has been baked uh, and uh, let's um all this to save it all right so um uh, one thing i had forgotten that is basically uh, let's do it again in non-color data let's drive everything here so there is a factor that if I'm going to uh, plug it with normal and uh, let's see the metallic now so uh, this setup has some cool features like you know you can you can mm, manipulate it now you can manipulate it in real time to see how exactly your bump should look like in your texture so uh, something like you know something like strength I can turn it up I can also modify everything um, you know and <coughs> uh, that is essentially a pretty good thing by the way we uh, don't forget to you know uh, when you are finalized uh, when you have finalized your bump I have actually duplicated it from here you can see the strength of 0 0.008 and th that was a 0 0.08 uh, this is 0 0.08 distance was 0 0.1 0 0.1 so it is matching that's why um but uh, you know uh, if uh, if uh, you want to tweak it you can tweak it uh, here and then control shift screen and bake it again so that is i think uh, uh, one plus point uh, we can you know interactively uh, change our bumps so yeah uh that is essentially it so let's save it here mm. if you want to check um check your setups if it's working or not uh just shift d here the metallic mods and things like that and uh, just uh use your textures like shift d and shift d so this will be changed so let's use our albedo here this is our albedo combine plug it in with your color 
uh, this was our roughness let's use roughness uh, which one it is basically zero roughness yep we have a fake user right um, all right so let's use roughness and this was our normal combine so let me see that so normal combine um, yeah uh, so normal combine so this has been backed with color data so if you are going to going back to normal uh, uh, non color data it will be a non color data so that's why we changed our uh, this setup you know color and non color so um, change it with non color data and now everything is fine perfectly fine not a problem so let's use uh, this normal here directly and oh no, sorry you have to use a normal map here of course the standard procedures there we go and that's exactly the same thing going on you know uh yeah that's it so this is a pbr workflow now we're going to uh going back to unreal engine and uh, uh, also gimp for some metallicity and um, yeah let's see all right now we are in gimp uh, i have opened the dot not here here these are albedo we're going to convert it into um, metallicity and this is our normal so let's deal with the normal first um uh, make sure that you are baking your normal with an alpha transparency that will work pretty fine and uh, also the albedo with alpha transparency when you are going to bake it so uh, first of all let's use the normal i'm going to create a new layer here and i'm going to uh, the color property let's use 128 sorry 128 and this is 256 so this will essentially create our blue values all right so let's um, control comma and this is the non-depth channel so let's export it normal i'm going to export it as normal.jpg there it is export it yep use highest quality there we go so normal is done mm, yep let's close it this changes all right so now we're going uh, for some metallicity we will convert this metallicity as layer uh, let's go to colors and going to desaturate it uh, where it is desaturate yeah we're going to use the lightness formula okay no mm -hmm. yeah yeah not a problem. so uh, let's go to the dot knot now and let's use the metallicity where it is metallic yeah so in metallic chart you have to determine how much metallic your things will look like but uh, uh, we can um, you know uh, change it uh, later in unreal doesn't matter but let's give it a base that will be good enough for us so i think the metallic should look like something like 0.5 to 0.6 in middle so let's use that i have just color sampled it now let's create a new image uh let's go oh, very small one yeah and let's fill it <coughs> go to window um dialog box there will be a histogram use this mean value that is 146 so we're going for this 146 our is so much close that is 177 so let's use 146 so how should we do it is basically go to the color go to the brightness and contrast 146 so let's um, let's dim it down let's use some contrast too if you're if you're going to use it here yeah there it is coming yeah something like that 146.2 yeah so that will be it and uh, what you can do here is basically you know create a new layer now to 
no i don't need that i just need this so let's control shift e and uh, let's name it metallic png export this file all right that's it so our metal acid is done now let's go to unreal and let's check them all we need to export these uh, fbx so let's file export fbx let's use the default one i'm just going to mesh and selected objects z4 up everything's fine mm, let's go to geometry apply modifiers yep smoothing it should be h armatures turn off lip bones animation doesn't matter so now let's export it with our final texture to see yep let's export it right so we are in unreal i have imported all the textures and also our object so now let's create a material i'm going to name it mat and uh, let's assign it here and let's go to the material editor and let's go to metallic to i don't need normal combine and let's use albedo there we go so all are doing well let's export it here so yeah so <coughs> these are normal maps so let's use the normal and uh, these are our albedo it should be go to the base color let's use this there you go this is our roughness map use it in roughness and this is our metallic map use it in metallic so yeah so that starts working okay let's apply and uh, alright so it has come uh, with things but there is a problem that are normal so let's go to the normal let's double click it and here what we need to do is basically flip the normal so let's go to green search for green and flip the green channel okay there we go so now it's been done it was an OpenGL uh, problem Dread test will not be a problem so there we go so yeah you can compare it with the result all right everything is looking fine so what we can do here is let's go there so what we can do here is basically we can modify our material a little bit yeah so <coughs> what i've done here i have to pause my video because uh, it was lagging so what I have done here is basically with this metallicity map I have used a LARP with a constant value of 3 uh, in the B and plugged it in so what was the result is basically uh, yeah is this so yeah very close to our detailing here so let me load my blender file if we can and let's see how these guys are looking all right so this is the comparison uh, you can see here in our unreal engine and this is our blender engine so yeah so this is essentially it oops uh, this is the um, thing so if you have any suggestion about it please let me know and um, yeah this is the end of the tutorial have a good day use it and uh, let me give you uh, let me have some feedback yeah i'm father sanputik from cg virus and thanks for watching goodbye